Hello! Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4 and we're going to show you how easy it is to move across applications to your microSD card. Now previously if you wanted to do this you would have had to root your device then download a third party application in order to move the data across. But during the months of June, July 2013, depending on where you are in the world or what network you're on, Samsung has made an update available which allows you to do this at the box. So if you haven't already had this update, I suggest that you check to see if it's available to you by going to Menu, Settings, go across to the more tab then down to about device and enter the software update section here now you don't need to be rooted to go through this process this is completely stock operating system all you're doing is checking to see if there's a software update for your handset so once you're here hit update and it goes across to the samsung service to see if there's an update slot available to download the latest update now don't worry if you get this message here because i got it as well all it simply states is there's no slot available to download the update try again later and it took me a couple of days of checking every now and again to see if there was a slot available and then it eventually downloaded the update for me. Just to show you what I'm running, I'm going to go back here and you can see the Android version showing us 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with the baseband version ending in MGA. And down here you can see the boot status showing us Samsung official because this device is not rooted. Now literally this is how easy it is, you go to menu, settings, go to the more tab and select application manager. Now select the application that you want to move across to the micro SD card. So in this example I'm going to choose need for speed most wanted and notice once it loads you've got a button there which says move to SD card. Now I'm just going to bring in my secondary Galaxy S4 here just to show you what it looks like if you've got a handset that hasn't had the update as yet because this Galaxy S4 hasn't had the update. So for consistency I'm just going to load up the same application here being need for speed most wanted there we go and notice you don't have that button there if you haven't had the update so i just wanted to show you what it looked like in terms of a comparison if you've got a device that hasn't yet had the update from here you simply press move to sd card but a word of warning all this simply does is moves the application from the phone's internal storage to the micro sd card the data associated with the application still stays on the phone's internal storage that cannot be moved following this update or this process as such so all we're going to do is press move to sd card now and watch what it's says next to application there 36.39 megabytes and it takes about 10-15 seconds or so depending on the amount of data being moved across and then boom there you go it's moved majority of the application to the micro SD card 33.62 megabytes have been moved to the micro SD card in the back of the phone now I suppose if you do this for every application that you've got on your phone and if you've got lots of applications then yes you will save a lot of space on your phone's internal storage but most of that two gigabytes of game data will still stay on the phone's internal storage and that's how easily you can move an application to your micro SD card but if you've rooted your handset or not even had this update as yet but want to move the application as well as the data itself to your micro SD card check out the link in the description down below of another video on how to do this as well as any other comments or questions you may have hit them up in the comment section down below there give us a thumbs up if you like this video and like what you saw and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe it's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time